not so long ago I, um, I discovered that you can actually sculpt um, a body using work planes and work planes only. So I so thought I'd uh, share the, the technique with you. I've just created a, you know, a simple set of work planes, top, bottom, right, left, front, back. The same orientation as the view cube here. And then I've added a 45 degree plane um, just to cut off the, cut off the corner. So it's quite simply launch the uh, the sculpt command and then select all of the planes that you want to use. And it's easy to make sure you've got them all selected in here. But you can see that it's not actually um, sculpted everything how you'd expect. So. What I didn't realise initially was that you can actually select which side you want to fill or drain, as it's uh, as the tooltip describes it. Fill, drain, preview. So I want to keep those bit ones there. I want to keep body on this side. So now I have created this body without using any primitives or any sketches. Yeah, its use is probably of its limited use realistically, but on occasions where you, you don't have any means to create any surfaces, or it's you know just simpler to slap a work plane on something, or even if uh, you know you don't know the boundaries of what you're designing, and bearing in mind that work planes are infinite, it might be appropriate to to use a series of work planes to define that shape. Uh, and if, if anything, it's just uh, an interesting and slightly different uh, workflow to what you're used to with Inventor. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoy your day and uh, take care of people.